has three different little things in here, little things here, thing aka blushes. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I would say that overall, my favorites this week really kind of center around this makeup look. Like I played with some different things, but this was overall like just what I really loved. Like I love these shadows and what I use to create this look. Love this lip color and yeah got all my cheeks, what I was loving, on my cheeks this week. So let's get to the favorite. So my first eye favorite for the week is this palette. I got this through Octoly to try out. This is the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony The Movie palette. So this came on the coattails of the My Little Pony The Movie coming out in theaters October 6th. So it kind of like goes along with that, which is super cute. So when I saw this on Octoly, I was super excited because I loved My Little Pony. I wasn't as obsessed with My Little Pony as I was Barbie. Like I was super obsessed with Barbie. Like Barbie was my world as a kid. Like that's the main thing I played with was Barbies. But I had some My Little Pony and I thought they were super cute. So when I saw that this was on there, I couldn't wait to try it. I was so excited I got approved for it. So this is what the outside box looks like. It's just cute and happy. It's a really colorful palette. So I just thought it looked fun. And it is fun. It's a fun palette. Now after using it, what I like in this palette are the mattes. Those are really the shadows that stand out to me. Like this one is very nice. This pink is gorgeous. I have both of these on my eyes today. I mean, that is gorgeous. This red is beautiful. The browns are really beautiful. I did find that the shimmers struggle a little bit. They kind of have like a a drier sort of a texture like almost like a baked shadow um so they just seem like they need a little bit something like i tried them with mac fix plus and that helped a little bit but they never really got to like the really like pop stage you know so i liked using this palette in conjunction with something else a couple other favorites that i'm about to mention to you so it's really pretty I love the mattes. They blend very, very well. The mattes are really nice quality. Um, didn't have any problems with those, but the shimmers are just like it's there. You can see it. It's pretty, but it's just not as much of a pop as I like typically in shimmers. If you don't want like crazy, like you can see this is pretty bright. So if you want a more kind of subtle shimmer for work or something, I mean, this is a pretty bright palette. So this may not be like your you know, most work appropriate palette. But if you're wanting shimmers that are a little bit like more on the subtle side, I think you'd be happy with the shimmers. But if you like a little bit more pop, um, you'll probably wanna pair something with this palette. But the mattes, again, are very nice. And it's super colorful, super fun. Let me see if I can like swatch a few more for you so you can see a couple of the other shimmers. So like this one, it's, it's okay. I just don't feel like, the shimmers really aren't like the standout in this palette. It's really the mattes. The mattes are awesome, but the shimmers, they just, they need a little bit of something else if you're looking for that super duper pop. So anyway, there are those. I mean, but look at that. That's gorgeous. That is so bright and fun. So anyway, that was the first eye favorite that I was playing with this week. So the shadows that I was using for a pop came from this palette. This is the NYX. This is one of the In Your Element palettes. I'm so impressed with these palettes. Like, I think they're just amazing. This one is the Metal palette. That's what it looks like. I mean, just like, look at it. It's so pretty to look at. And this one, oh my goodness. It's just all metallic shades. Now I will say the formula on some of these is really good. And then the formula on some of the others takes a little bit of work. Like I noticed um, this one, I decided to play with it today and I mean it looks gorgeous it's definitely workable but I just didn't find it as easy to work with as like this one or this one these two right here and the ones that have this similar sort of texture have like a this one right here oh my goodness like it looks like it's gonna be pink but then it's like really kind of like a like a light icy white ish sort of color it's amazing but anyway these that have that sort of texture have like a little bit more, I don't know, something like a, a more of a thickness to them that kind of like holds that metallic sheen together. 
And then like this one, the one that I was saying I use today, has a little bit more of like a chunky, separated sort of a texture. So they are workable, but you just might get more fallout with them and you might wanna use like a mixing medium or something. I still used a mixing medium even with these. I applied them with Matte Fix Plus, but even just applying it with your fingers gets that kind of like crazy metallic sheen to them. Look at that, that duochrome. It's so pretty. So just know the formula on like all the shadows in there is not exa exactly the same. Like some of them are a little bit different, but still workable. Um, but some of them have a really great, like easy to work with texture, but all of them are super metallic and fun and gorgeous, but you obviously have to like metallic sheen because this is an all metallic palette, but I absolutely stinking love it. Like I stinking, stinking, stinking love it. It's so pretty. It's so good. Let me swatch something else for you. I'm like a over swatcher today. I'm like all about the extra swatches. I don't know why, but there's just so many pretty shadows in here. So yeah, I love this palette. This one, I have the earth and I have the fire and I think they're all awesome. Like love them, highly recommend them. They are expensive for drugstore, but if you can get them on a sale and then use a coupon, I think they're highly, highly worth it. Great quality palettes. And then last thing that I was using on my eyes this week, I was all about that inner corner highlight. So I've got a little inner corner highlight going right now. So like a colorful inner corner highlight. And I was using this palette to do that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. So I also have the Aurora and I just find that I use the Moonchild a little bit more. I don't really know why. I guess, I think these are kind of lighter colors. So I think that's why um, I grabbed for this one more. So I have Pink Heart on the inner corners of my eyes right now, but I also used Blue Ice one day. And then I also used Lucky Clover one day. They're just like really beautiful, like shifty white sort of colors. So that's why I love them because they just are really super duper bright on the inner corners of the eyes. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So they're really bright on the inner corners of the eyes, but then they have that like shift of color to them. So they're just fun. They add a little like I don't know, creative extra pop to the eye look. And I feel like especially like pairing it with that super metallic lid from the metals palette, just like pairs so nicely and it's a statement eye look. It's just beautiful and fun and colorful. And yeah, I kept grabbing for it this week. For blush this week, I was loving another one of my Laura Geller blushes. This is the Baked Blush in Malibu. So it doesn't say blush and brighten. So maybe this one has like less of a sheen to it and more of just that baked sort of formula to it. But this is what I have on my cheeks right now. And then I have a highlighter with it. It's just a fun, bright color. So most of my other Laura Geller blushes are very neutral and kind of like um, go with everything sort of blushes. And this one's a little bit more of a statement. Like this is like a hot pink, like a hot pink baked, amazing, blush and I love it, but it's a little bit more of a statement. I mean, it's bright and it's pink, but I love it. It's amazing. But see how it like has a little bit less of that um, sheen than a lot of them, but it just still has that amazing formula that just like becomes one with your skin and just blends beautifully and looks just gorgeous on the skin awesome awesome quality blushes i'm obsessed with them all so yep this was the one that i was using this week and i thought it like i don't know it was really fun with this eye look i mean obviously this makeup look is like it's a lot of color it's a lot going on but i really like it you know it's just a all over the place creative makeup look and that's what i was doing this week so yeah Loved this blush. And I use this super affordable, but really adorable little blush trio from Essence. This is one of the Blush Play Sculpting Blush Palettes. So it has three different little things in here, little things here, thing AKA blushes in here. So you've got like the darker one, and then you've got the mid-tone one, and then you have the highlight. So I do have the highlight on today, and a little pop of this one, I think I might have dabbed a little bit of that in there too, but you're mostly seeing Malibu from, is that what it was called? Malibu? What were you called? I already forgot. Yeah, you're mostly seeing Malibu from Laura Geller, but anyway, I've got a little bit of these on. Where did I swatch these? I'm already getting so confused. Okay, there's that one. 
and then the, oh no, okay, yeah, there's that one, and then there's that one. We got it sorted out. Okay, we got it all sorted out here. I love this little trio because it's like, I don't know, perfect for that kind of draping trend, so you can kind of do the deepest color, kind of lowest on your cheeks, almost like a contour, a little bit of like shaping to the face, and then you can use this kind of like right on the apples of your cheeks for a little bit of like brightness and a little pop, and then you've got your highlight there, so yeah. It's just like a really fun blush trio. I find that it blends really well. It's super easy to work with. Just a really nice formula. Like, I have no negatives to say about this. And it's crazy affordable. I think it was, uh, I think it was like 4 or $5, I think. I got it off the Essence website. And I think that they have free shipping over like $20 or $25. So, I hate paying for shipping. But if they have a free shipping over like, if it's around $20, I'm okay with it, so that's awesome. So they have that option, at least they did. I don't know if it was a limited thing. Anyway, I got it off their website. It's super affordable, it's easy to use, it's pretty, it's a nice formula, and I loved it this week. My last favorite for the week, my standout lip favorite is definitely this one from Ofra. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in Amsterdam. So they have a new espresso lip set, which Y'all know I'm a coffee lover. I love everything to do with coffee. I love the scent of coffee. I love coffee mugs. I love drinking coffee. I just love coffee. So when I got their package and it had like coffee beans in it, it just smelled amazing. And then they have these kind of like coffee themed colors. They kind of just like look like in the family of coffee. I was so excited about it. So this is one of the colors. It's hard to pick a favorite because they're all really pretty. I have them swatched on my Instagram. Um, but I think that this one is, I think it's my standout favorite because it's super unique. So there is Mocha's in there, which is a really pretty color. It's like a neutrally brown. Um, Milan is one in there and it's kind of like a deep red. That one's really beautiful too. I want to wear that one next. And then this one is like a, oh man, like a purpley, dusty, dark rose sort of color. Yeah, like a, like a rosy, taupey, purpley, gray, all-in-one goodness sort of a color. Ooh, it's amazing. It's got a little bit of like an edginess to it, which I love. Um, but it's still slightly neutral too, but it's got a little bit of that like fall, you know, deeper vibe to it also. So yeah, I love their liquid lipsticks. They're some of my very favorites. Um, I just find them to be more comfortable. They do transfer a little bit, but I think that's what makes them more comfortable. They do less of the they're not their line, which I much prefer. I say that all the time because liquid lipsticks, that's a big thing that they do. I notice it less with theirs. They smell amazing. They smell like vanilla. Yep, they smell incredible. And yeah, they just keep coming out with like killer colors and gorgeous highlighters and they just keep knocking it out of the park with new makeup. So loving this one this week. Alrighty guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!